Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel Modern Art of Woodwork. In this video I'll share with you my idea of a wall-mounted folding desk and its building process. For this project I'm using birch plywood grade A. As usually I start my projects by cutting all the necessary components. Top and the bottom panels are 52 inches long and 8 inches wide. Three panels, sides and center divider panel are 23 inches long and 8 inches wide and one more board for the shelf is 19 inches long and 8 inches wide. Next step is to sand down all these components and then I'm going to assemble all the parts I already have. Before that, it's better to mark and pre-drill all the boards. This way will make the assembly process easier and faster. Once done with pre-drilling, I can move forward and start putting everything together. I'm using regular wood screws and all the openings I'll just cover with a wood filler. I'm also applying wood glue to all the connections for them to be solid and strong. The pre-drilling and assembly process would be much easier if I had a wood bench with dog holes for better support and stability of the furniture components. As I already mentioned, all the screws holes I'm filling in with a wood filler. This panel is a drop down desk. Size is 52 by 25 inches. I'm sanding down both sides to get a clean and smooth surface. On this panel, I will apply edge bending. Since this will a ser serve as a desk, I want the edges to look clean instead of having plywood pattern on them. I got white birch edge bending from Rockler Store. It's already pre-finished and pre-glued. The adhesive is heat activated. For this process, we just need an iron utility knife or edge bending trimmer. For this step, I need to cut the necessary length of an edge bending applying it on the edge of my panel and activating the adhesive using an iron. This way it creates a secure bond and a clean look. I really like General Finishes oil-based white gel stain and that's what I'm using for the inside surface of my project and for the desktop. Plastic putty spreader works pretty well for spraying gel stain. Once the whole surface is covered, I use a towel to even it out. hexagon lights but don't really have any use for them so I got this idea to use them for this project I cut out 3 inch wide and 52 inches long pine plank layered out hexagons marking the cutting line and cutting the plank to the pattern I need for these lights then nailing these planks together with the finished nails sanding everything down and getting it ready to be painted
inside part of this project I stained with gel stain, but the outside surface I'm painting to solid white color. For the drop down desktop, I need to install a handle. So I mark on the board a location of the handle and using router, I'm taking off a thin layer for the handle to be flush with a panel. Pre-drilling screw holes using self-centering drill bit and install the handle using half-inch screws. Once paint dried up, I'm going forward in the process and now I need to install Helios Touch hexagon lights. In the center, I pre-drill an opening for the power cable, layering out hexagons and securing them with another plane. This backboard can be taken off anytime. I'm using flat hat decorative screws and if I need to replace hexagons, I can just unscrew this plank. Now lights are secured between two planks and are flush with them. The main structure is pretty much done except the desktop. This desk will be hanging on the wall, and it can't look just a, like a plain white shelf, so I designed a pattern that will give a nice modern look to this piece of furniture. To protect painted surface, I'm applying masking film. It's important to cover the surface evenly without leaving any bubbles under the film to avoid ruining the whole design, then drawing the desired design pattern. Using V-shaped grooming router bit, I'm cutting the groove. At first, I was just using an aluminum guide to make the groove, but it's hard to make a straight cut using just one edge support. And I made this double-sided guide jig to make the process easier. This part is done. I painted the groove using gold spray paint, and this is why I had to apply masking film. It protected the painted surface, so I was able to cut out and paint the design powder. Time for the fun part: taking off the masking film, and it's pretty satisfying to see how cool this design is. One last thing is to install hinges. The main one is 48 inches long continuous hinge I got from Home Depot. Again, I'm using self-centering drill bit for the hinges to pre-drill it and then securing the hinge with half an inch screws. Also, I installed two heavy duty lid support hinges on the sides for the desktop to go down at 90 degrees and stay steady. Here's the final project. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comments area.